This tutorial is how to set up a Wii Remote as a mouse on your screen in Ubuntu Jaunty Jackalope 9.04. First, we need three things. A Bluetooth adapter. It can be USB built-in or something else, just as long as you get a U U Bluetooth. And then we obviously need the Wii Remote and Ubuntu Jaunty Jackalope with a, with a megabyte of free space on it. All right. So first off, we need to install several programs: sudo apt-get install, wm input, wm GUI, and lswm. Now, I have these installed already, so it'll say they're installed. But it should—it'll ask you if you're sure you want to install it. You can hit enter or put a Y and enter to continue. All right. Now we want to run lswm, which will get the address of this Wii remote. Um, you press 1 and 2 to put it into discoverable mode, so we'll do that. And then press enter, and it should come up with the address fairly quickly. There it is. So, you want to copy this, and then save it somewhere. I'll keep it in a text file here. Save. Alright. Close out of that. And now we'll need to add a line to the modules file. So sudo nano. I'm using nano, or you could use gedit or any other um, tool you'd like. The, the file slash etc slash modules. Right, and you'll add this line here. U input to the end of that. And you want to save and close. And then after you add all that. Restart. Okay, so now that your computer's rebooted, we'll um, start start up the Wii Remote connection. This is done easily by just issuing the command sudo wm input, and then to make it a quicker connection, we'll pull up that address that we got from earlier. So we'll copy that, and then paste it down here and hit enter and you also want to remember to put in discovery mode by pushing 1 and 2 on the remote and entering your root password would be helpful. There. So now this here, how it's set up by default, uses the accelerometer in the remote up down to tilt which moves the mouse. And this can be a little bit annoying like that. So there's other ways you can set it up, fortunately, to use an infrared light. Now, or any other light source. We set up this infrared light here, which is just from a remote control, and we modified it so that it had a light switch and only one battery, and we, so we could turn it on and off. Now when you turn it on, you won't be able to see the infrared light with your eye, so we used a camera to set that up properly. So I'm going to set that aside, and that will be used in a little bit. Now, we need to uh, copy some configuration files over and do a little bit of quick editing. So we'll want to cd to the configuration files, which is an etc slash cwid slash wm input. Now there's the current files in there by default. We'll want to back up the default by running in the default to default dot back and we'll want to make sure we run that as root using sudo before the command. Now um, we'll copy the infrared setup by running sudo cp um, the ir ptr file to default and hit enter and it's copied now so we want to edit this default file to um, make it a little more easier to use so sudo nano or gedit or whatever text editor you feel like using and then default and that'll open it up and we want to get rid of these tildes here because it makes it move a little ac more accurately if you get rid of them. So we'll save that. So now all I have to do 
is run sudo wm input and then we can give the address or not. If you don't give the address, it'll take a little longer to connect like this. Press 1 and 2 to put it in discoverable mode. It'll be able to find it, but it obviously takes a little longer to do that. But here, it uses the little infrared light here. <laughs> Sorry. And it'll move around the screen. So, using my keyboard shortcuts, I've got that set up in play like solitaire or something pretty nicely. Kind of fun. Oops. The wrong card. But yeah, like that. So that is basically it for the tutorial. Um, it runs very nicely once you get it all set up. And thank you for watching.